let's use Prolog to reason about Bitcoin addresses, public keys and private keys. First, we go to the project page. And from there, we download the Prolog source file. And once we have this file, we consult it with Scryer Prolog and we are ready to generate a new Bitcoin address. For this, we start by generating a new private key using the predicate new private key with one argument. This yields on each invocation a new cryptographically secure private key, like this. Bitcoin uses elliptic curve cryptography for signatures, so a Bitcoin private key is simply an integer. And you must keep private keys absolutely secret. So please generate your own private key. And I'm hiding some of these digits to encourage you to generate your own key. And once we have a private key, we can use the predicate private key to public key to derive the public key that corresponds to this private key. With elliptic curve signatures, a public key is a point on an elliptic curve, which is represented as a string here. And we can share the public key with everyone. And in fact, Bitcoin takes this even further and uses addresses that are derived from public keys. So a Bitcoin address doesn't even reveal the public key. We can use the predicate public key to address to derive from a given public key the Bitcoin address that corresponds to this key. So now we have, in addition to the public key, the address. And it's completely safe to share an address. If someone sends Bitcoins to you, that is to this address, only you can spend them because only you have the matching private key to sign transactions that send coins from this address. And therefore, you must really store private keys safely and securely. Because if you lose a private key, then you can still receive bitcoins to the corresponding address, but you can then no longer spend them, which would be unfortunate. And also, we can convert a private key to so-called wallet import format, WIF. This is a common format that many applications support, and this allows us to easily copy private keys to many other applications. Wallet import format is simply a different, more compact representation of private keys. And therefore, I'm again hiding some parts, because showing it fully would reveal the private key we've just generated here. So addresses and public keys can be safely shared with everyone. But private keys must be kept secret, regardless of the format in which we store them. Because everyone who has the private key can spend all bitcoins that are sent to this address. And we can create as many keys as we want. For instance, let's repeatedly do what we just did. That is, generate a new private key, derive the corresponding public key, derive the address that corresponds to this public key, convert the private key to wallet import format, and then, and that's new, emit the generated address and key in wallet import format as a prolog rule for the predicate address key with two arguments. And finally, we force backtracking via false. So this query generates arbitrarily many keys and Bitcoin addresses that you can safely use. And there are so many possible keys that it's extremely unlikely that you generate a key that someone else also uses. So let's try it. Ready? Go. So we see that Prolog quickly generates hundreds and thousands such keys and addresses. And you can safely use them for transactions as long as you keep the private key secret and store it safely. And as mentioned, it's extremely unlikely that you generate the same key as someone else or the same key twice, because there are very many possible keys.